So I just want to take you through our TA journey and where we've come from. So if we rewind back to July 2015 on day one, our company awareness was absolutely zero. Nobody knew who our name was. And actually, people used to think we were a care home um, or, you know, we got lots of variety of things. But our, our company awareness was non-existent and we didn't have the history. And our in-house recruitment expertise, so we had generalists, me and my equivalent peers across international, but we didn't have dedicated recruitment resource. Um, our access to job boards, LinkedIn, WeChat or other local platforms, we, we just didn't have the time or resource to really dedicate towards that. And then our, you know, recruitment processes, our, our, you know, all our material was quite dated. It was back in 2012 that we had it last really refreshed. So everything was, was really dated and actually we were starting at a point of zero. Based on what we were doing, we, we were going to agencies. That was our first point of, point of call. So our spend across international, across EMEA and APAC was um, approximately one million. We were using agencies across international. Our average spend was $12,000 and our time to hire was around 66 days. So it was a difficult position to be in, but you know, agencies were a friend and it was a first point of contact and we had no alternative or the time or resource to, to look at an alternative or hire directly. So in terms of how we're set up, very briefly, so across international, we've got approximately 2,500 employees all the other colleagues are based in, in the US. We have four manufacturing plants, um, 14 different languages and 50 countries in total. Um, so for manufacturing plants, we, we remain as local hiring just because of the nature and the turnover of, of colleagues there. So how we're structured across EMEA and APAC, I just thought I'd quickly share in terms of how we, how we operate and our go-to model. Um, so we've got Northwest Europe, which I look after. Um, so this is pretty much, you know, our competitors being Unilever, P&G, et cetera, our you know, days to hire were huge. There were 86 days. And the second hub that we've got is Northeast and Central Europe. So again, um, Poland being a predominant market and Germany. And then South Europe and Middle East and Africa. So again, the, the, this has to be the, by far the most complex market within Europe because um, the, you know, the languages we covered, French, Spanish, um, Italian, Portuguese, Greek and Arabic. So again, the time to hire being 52 days as well. So across APAC, again, similar type of model. We've got three hubs. We've got Oceana, um, very small hub here. We don't have a huge amount of colleagues in there. Um, Greater China as well, and the main speaking language is Mandarin and Japan. So what's interesting about Japan is that 80% of the population are non-English speaking and they don't actually trust direct hiring. So they only trust agencies. So it's very difficult to, to direct, directly hire and approach candidates there. So our starting point was pretty blank. So in terms of aspirations, this is what we want to do. It's, it's hiring great people. We have a, a great culture at Edgewell and it's, it's one of those open collaborative organizations and we want great people. So that's what we aspire to get. And and the quality of hires that we get through the direct model has been far greater than what we've had previously. And we measure that through having an onboarder. So after um, three months in the organization, we have an onboarder, which is an online tool which assesses their, um, their, their kind of fit within the team, within the role, and how they're doing. And we measure that through there. Um, the world renowned, we, wanna, we want best practice and we want re repeatable hiring. We want to raise our brand. Obviously, you know, it's been since July 2015, still got a long way to go, but we continue to raise our presence where we can through LinkedIn, through other online platforms. So efficiencies, yes, there is an element of cost saving um, and time as well. We want to modernize. I really wanted to get away from paper. And we, we're developing our success factors, which is our ATS model as well, and building our talent communities and networking. So in terms of what we do, we do do direct sourcing. So that's what the team do. And, we've, and they do it via the, the usual um, referral ways. And then we also encourage internal referrals. So for example, Germany and the UK, we do a lot of secondments as well. So again, trying to move people within the organization. Um, we also, we do have a first tier agency in place, which is Michael Page. So we're leveraging our international volume to really reduce the, the cost of it. So we will go to Michael Page if for whatever reason we might be struggling with the role. 
Um, if, we, if Michael Page are unsuccessful for, for whatever reason, we may then go to a specialist local agency, but that will be at a very last resort. Um, as information, HR hold the budget for all recruitment activities, so if anyone needs to go to an agency, they'll double check with their HRBP before doing so. Just a very quick case study, I just wanted to share with you our, um, our learnings from China hiring. So it's a very candidate competitive driven market and our, our brand presence is quite low. Um, and contacting Chinese candidates can be very difficult, especially from a different location. They don't like a different um, phone number. And also the language not being Mandarin, again, it's difficult to communicate. What we also found is that they um, typically um, find job opportunities on WeChat, which is their social media platform, um, or through networking, referrals, or word of mouth. So WeChat is their social media equivalent to um, Facebook, um, but it also has job postings and employer branding pages, and it also has an e-wallet and Tinder. So quite bizarre, but it seems to have everything in there. Um, so this is what we did in terms of solutions. So we worked closer with our Shanghai team. So in order to overcome the language barrier, we actually engaged a lot more in the managers in actually reaching out to candidates and HR as well. This increased the number of applicants by 50%. We're in the process of implementing our, our own WeChat um, platform for Edgewell, so, and we're also integrating it with our ATS. And also, it, with WeChat, you have to have content. So we're working with the marketing team because with um, um, WeChat, you have to have lots of followers, you need to have new content, new product development. So it's all about generating that story and buzz for people to really follow you on there. Let me just take you through what the team and the TA team have achieved. So in terms of hiring, this is for FY17, is 81% direct hires in 42 days. We've had 176 positions, we're just shy of a 1 million saving. So the top hiring countries are China, UK, Germany and Czech Republic, and predominantly within sales, marketing and finance. Um, so where did we find all these candidates? Predominantly through job boards, LinkedIn, referrals, internal, and then we go on to, to agencies. Um, but where we were from previously, where it's 100% agencies, to where we are today, um, I, I'm, I'm pleased with the journey that we've come on and the results that we have. In terms of other achievements, we, we've designed and rolled out hiring manager training um, across international. Um, so again, trying to upskill our managers. We've also standardized, standardized our selection and assessment tools. Um, we're in the process of implementing our ATS um, um, system as well. We've also launched a new careers video and we are finalists at the in-house recruitment awards, which we're really pleased about. With international recruitment, uh, it's about being aware of the different cultures and the language barriers and how to overcome them and really getting the buy-in from the managers. It's about having local expertise and having that input. It's about building brand presence. We've gone from no one knowing our name and building that reputation and building our presence through having content, having um, presence across different social media platforms and also understanding the growth plans. Where are we growing? Where do we have gaps? Where, which areas or expertise do we need to focus on? So for example, our focus at the moment is very much around digital. And then also continue the manager, edu manager education. I still have managers that go a little bit rogue and want to call an agency, but it's about educating them about what we have in place now. So it's been a big journey, but I'm pleased with the results and well done to our TA team.